all of the goals from round two to come next, including a West Yorkshire derby. As the heroes of the League Cup two seasons ago, Bradford City met their fierce rivals Leeds United at home for the first time in nearly 14 years. And the fans could not wait for this one. This is massive, it's absolutely massive. It doesn't come any bigger than this. It's a big game. We haven't played him for, I think, 14 years, and which it were a draw last time around. How it's going to go, no idea. Just to actually get one back on them and uh, be one up would be absolutely fantastic. I think for all Bradford City supporters, I think uh, it, it's a real desire to uh, to want to beat Leeds United. We've got friends who are Bradford fans, so it'll be good to rub it in. I'm always getting like teams at school, how um, Leeds are better than, than Bradford, so it'll be really good to beat them. It's all good banter, isn't it, really? But... It's on the night who's up for it, who's going to do it. Bradford City have been beaten, but their achievement must never be forgotten. Yeah, we've already seen MK Dons provide the biggest upsets in League Cup history, but two seasons ago, Bradford City produced one of the most incredible stories in the history of the competition as it became the first team from the fourth tier of English football to reach that final for over 50 years. Well, last night, they met their fierce West Yorkshire rivals, Leeds United, for a place in round three. And Phil Parkinson made four changes to the team that lost to Peterborough at home on Saturday. The big one came in defence following the loss of their talismanic defender, Andrew Davis. Alan Sheehan took his place in the centre of defence, while James Meredith came in at left back. And after three games out, injured striker Billy Clark returned to the starting lineup. Meanwhile, under pressure, Leeds head coach David Hockaday was without two of his back four from the weekend, following the sendings off of Sam Byram and Giuseppe Belushi against Watford. Lynn Cooper and Scott Wooten took their places. Five changes in all, with striker Matt Smith coming in to partner Billy Sharp up top. The commentators for this one, Andy Hinchcliffe and Rob Hawthorne. Overrun by Murphy, who then caught Little on the follow-through. He's late, he's very late, actually, Luke Murphy. He's not going to win this ball, but it's his poor first touch. Attempts him forward. That's a really poor challenge. We've seen Reds for that before. Here's Murphy. He's got to watch his step now. Smith with a header down. Norris through first time. Sharp looking for Norris again. Warner! McLean. Short for Meredith. He got there, but it was Murphy, and he's already been booked. It's a second yellow. Leeds, who had two players sent off at the weekend, have another player seeing red here. You've been yellow carded. You're fortunate to be on the, the field at this stage, and then you make a challenge like this. It's just crazy. McLean. Drives it into Clark! And what a save! Slides through to Norris and Smith! Leeds show the strength of character needed despite being a man down for much of the match. This is quite brilliant football. There's a wonderful ball into the far post. This is what Matt Smith is crying out for. This is what Matt Smith is built for. Here's Not. And Clark has a go! And Taylor, who'd already made a key save earlier, comes up with another. And from the corner, McCardle looks to get up. It's come all the way out to Billy Knott! It's a storming finish! And Bradford City produced the right kind of response. Look at the first touch. Kills it stone dead, so then he knows he just has to cleanly strike through it. And doesn't he just do that? Here's Clark. Little. And Hansen! Would you believe it? It's not the best header that James Hansen has ever put goalwards right through the keeper's legs, but quite, quite astonishing turnaround. Smith. Looking for a free kick and gets it. It's Tong, which in the kick, Smith there again. Bradford 
City are causing tremors in the League Cup again. Phil Parkinson has led his side to their first victory over Neighbours Leeds in nearly 28 years to secure a third round place. Three goals in three minutes and 35 seconds. It was a stunning finish to the game last night. But Peter, before we look back on one of the goals of the game, the sending off of Luke Murphy, because David Hockett has spoken today about this. And yeah. He says, look, he's trying everything. He's trying to get it right. He's got an owner. One minute he's in, one minute he's out. Mm -hmm. He can't legislate for this kind of thing happening, can he? He's trying to do his best. Yeah. And yet players keep getting sent off through ill discipline. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, ill discipline. And it's happening too often, really. I think they've had three players sent off already and in the context of the game where it's anything but you know a Yorkshire derby intense atmosphere on the pitch it was they off started it. well hadn't they started really well you know the, the first sort of 15 minutes some really good passes of play but you know when you look at that he's already had the first yellow and the second one there's got to be uh, a moment where the player goes I'm never ever going to get there you know even if I get anywhere near him it's going to be a foul I've got to, for my own period on the pitch I've got to pull out of it and also for my, my teammates and the club's sake I've got to show a little bit more discipline than that. Give us the technical appreciation for Billy Nod's equaliser. Oh, it was outstanding the first touch is brilliant when you look at the technique as he caresses it as it comes off it could easily run away from him there he could easily panic because he knows there's people conversion on him he takes his touch trusts us in, in his skill and there's the technique just cushions it there into the path and then it's a half volley he cuts across the ball and that's called a bit of power fade a bit of swads there this has to be the Bradford goal ever scored against Leeds United doesn't it it's probably about the third best actually <laughs> yeah. behind, behind who? yeah Collie Moore and Beakery but it, it Collie was going to be in there it, it, I think it made it Shoved yours down it a was bit. well, whatever, you know. I'll, I'll let him. I've had my glory. <laughs> uh, absolutely fantastic. And on the night, he dictated the play. He transferred the ball from left to right. Um, tremendous range of passing and that, and dictated the tempo. He was a very, very good player. I spoke to Phil beforehand, and he'd wax lyrically about him. He was tremendous all game. MK Dons for them, interestingly, in the next round. So they're through to the third round for the second time in three.